Hello, fellow Rebel Capitals. Hope you're well. Right here with my good buddy, Josh, my research assistant extraordinaire. And he brought a fantastic story to my attention. You've all heard what's going on with PayPal. Some insane stuff. Are they joining the ministry of truth? <laughs> they came out and said that if you say something wrong, we're going to take money directly out of your account. Now, they've backpedaled since then, but is this, are they opening up the kimono? Is this an indication of what we should expect in the future? Unfortunately, I think the answer is yes. But let's get into this article that Josh pulled up. Yeah, and before see exactly we do, what's going on here? Before we go into this, I, I pleaded and begged George not to not to put me in the thumbnail, but he he insisted, and I apologize for everybody watching currently. Oh, nonsense! People in the <laughs> chat, let me know what you think about Josh in the thumbnail. Fantastic. We so more of that, but let me know what you <laughs> think here. Okay, so Josh is pulling up the story here. PayPal pulls plan to fine customers twenty five hundred dollars for promoting quote unquote, misinformation. Of course, we know the problem with this. How do you define that? You can't. And, and we know that since 2020, the, 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 the misinformation, quote unquote, has turned out to be the fact and truth just months later, <laughs> right? And pretty much everything, even to this day, that they label as, quote unquote, misinformation, I just view it from a standpoint of complete skepticism and just assume that anyone that uses this term misinformation seriously, I think there it just shows you beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're just spewing propaganda. I yeah, think my, this is the new buzzword of the propagandist. My, my first reaction was, oh my God, uh, George uses PayPal. I already know, know we're screwed for the future. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How much money I have in PayPal? I gotta, <laughs> I gotta text my accountant. <laughs> I've actually been going back and forth with her in the morning, so I'll text her and see if they've taken twenty five or how many. I, I should say how many times they've taken yeah. twenty five hundred dollars out of my account. <laughs> there was a window of time there. Oh, well, let's look at that, Josh. When they made this announcement, how long did it take them to backpedal? Oh, it was, it was instantly. The, the, the policy oh, really? was, was, it was supposed to go into effect November third, but they just got instant backlash. When did they announce it? So PayPal, I'm reading your highlights here. PayPal issued, then retracted a policy to fine users 2500 for misinformation after a flurry of criticism erupted on social media, including from Elon Musk. Thank goodness. And another one of the company former leaders. I'd be interested to know which other one. And then, then we just... go over him in the article. Oh, good. Okay. The penalties posted on PayPal's website would have been issued to users who promote misinformation. In other words, promote the truth uh, or what is found to be truth or what the mainstream media admits as truth six months from now. So, or present a risk to user safety or will we, how do you even define that? Isn't, uh, Josh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but isn't it a, a risk to user well-being to take $2,500 out of their account in the first place? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a risk to their well-being? I mean, this announcement is a risk to my well-being or, or anyone because then they got to sit there and walk on eggshells with every single last thing they see just quivering in fear that PayPal is somehow, go or their fact checkers are going, you know, they're being paid 10 bucks an hour, are going to somehow come to the conclusion that this is something they don't like and therefore quote unquote misinformation or disinformation. I mean, it's, you can see just the insanity in this policy. What really surprises me is not that, you know, I think it's great that they retracted it, but how can you even issue this statement in the first place? Like who is it at PayPal that thinks this is a good idea? I know this is going to be great for business. We're just going to tell people that we can randomly take $2,500 out of their account. And oh, by the way, this is just the beginning. We can, of course, this just sets a precedence where we could take $5,000, $10,000, $100,000. We can literally take any amount of money we choose just as a result of them saying something we don't like. Like who at PayPal thought that was a great idea? Just unbelievable. All right, let's keep going down the article here, Josh. So they backtracked and basically just said that they're not going to 
find anyone and that was not the intent of their policy. Yeah, but see, once they kind of throw out this trial balloon, I mean, what's next, right? I, I you, you see this, uh, same thing with the central bank digital currencies. Remember that, Josh, back in yeah. 2018, where they are just, they just kind of, they wouldn't really say, they'd say, oh, this is kind of nonsense. It's, you know, uh, we're kind of looking into it. They, they would just kind of hint at it. And then the next thing you know, two years later, this is serious policy that most likely will be implemented in the future. So th that's probably what's going on here, Josh, now that I think about it, is this is probably just a trial balloon. This is what they want to do. This is their end game. They're just throwing that out to see what the public response would be. They pull it back, say, oh, no, too early. But th they've shown us their cards. That's what I'm saying here. We know that this is the direction the central planners and the authoritarians, and quite frankly, these knuckleheads in social media, they, this is the direction they want to go. The Binioffs of the world, the, the, the insane politicians, the EU, the UN, the World Economic Forum, the IMF, just throw them all in there. This is what they want the world to be. This is how they want to usurp power and control is by micromanaging the narrative and by censoring speech. I mean, it's obvious. And, and I mean, I, what, what's, what's also interesting is to think through, okay, well, you like right now, you could say, oh, well, George, just don't use PayPal. Okay, great. Well, what happens when we have a central bank digital currency? and they ban cash, then what are you going to do? I think the argument is always, well, I'm not doing anything wrong, so what do I have to worry about? I mean, they can they can take money from all the terrorists because that's that's all our authoritarian government would ever do anyway. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, look at uh, what happened to Brett Weinstein. Look at what happened to our, our very good friend, Dr. Chris Martinson. I mean, and the list goes on and on and on of people that if I would have said they would be banned by YouTube in 2019, you would have told me I'm absolutely crazy or they'd be uh, demonetized. Brett Weinstein demonetized. He was, he's way on the left. If I would have told you that in 2019, you would have said that I was nuts. And then sure enough in 2020, less than one year later, bam, it happens to him. And uh, you know, th these people that think it, it, it's, but it goes both ways. I mean, the people on the left need to understand that these big government policies will come back to bite them sooner than later. And it's the same thing with the Republicans on the right. You know, Republicans are almost as pro-big government as the Democrats. And they need to understand that as they give the government more and more power, even if it's for something you like, sooner or later, that government will use it against you and your family. You know, I, I said something on Twitter I, I, something to the effect, Josh, about these politicians, because this in okay, that's what we need to do a story on next. Is this politician in Canada? Is I think his last name is Singh, J Jameet Singh, or something like that. He's literally blaming all of inflation on corporate greed, to where, to the point where he's calling it greedflation, greedflation, right? These people are are absolute bottom of the barrel. They have no idea what they're talking about. And these people like Trudeau and this and this Singh guy, you know, wouldn't they absolutely love it to be able to control everything you say through a central bank digital currency? Because if you say something they don't like, then, well, of course, you're dangerous. And if you're dangerous, then why shouldn't we punish you by taking money directly out of your account or freezing your bank account altogether? This is just, we got to see the writing on the wall here. Yeah, so this, these are the two founders, David, Marcus, and Elon. So David said, it's hard for me to openly criticize a company I used to love and gave so much to, but PayPal's new AUP goes against everything I believe in. A private company now gets to decide to take your money if you say something they disagree with. Insanity. And then Elon just said, agreed. Yeah, ditto. Golf clap. Well said. So let's just see because PayPal... They were saying that they would never like they, they backtracked and said that they won't they won't ban anyone. That is complete nonsense. But earlier this month, the company did ban a group called Gays Against Groomers, which LGBTQ plus advocates have labeled a hate group. So I did some research, George, and I I could only imagine the horrors and 
of the atrocities that this group would be would be saying. And uh, we come to find out that uh, Gays Against Groomers is just a coalition of gay people who oppose the recent trend of indoctrinizing, sexualizing, and medicalizing children under the, the guise of LGBTQ. Yeah. So if you're someone who kind of second guesses the uh, decision-making ability of a four-year-old to determine whether they're male or female, and uh, if you kind of second guess whether it's a good idea to give puberty blockers to a 10 year old or whatever, uh, then what did they say? Then you are, da- did they say that you're dangerous or what did they yeah, say? Yeah, they're, they're a hate group and they, oh, they, you're a hate they group. got, they already got banned from PayPal. Yeah. You're spreading hate. And by the way, just like we said in the video the other day, I, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, Josh, but I was under the impression that there was no difference between male and female. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't, I thought we're just, we're just the same, right? We're like worms. We're all just identical male female it doesn't matter we're all the exact same so again if we're the exact same why on earth is this even a discussion why on earth are we promoting puberty blockers why on earth are we trying to figure out what sex a kid is i mean it it, it sounds insane to say that out loud (laughs) but (laughs) why are we trying to figure this stuff out if we're all identical and uh, you know i could go on and on but okay so what's next here well, that was that, that was kind of the main gist. These guys were just saying that, um, like their their whole spiel is that gays against groomers directly opposes the sexualization and indoctrination of children. This includes drag queen uh, story hours, drag queen shows involving children and transitioning, and medic medic medicalization of minors and gender theory being taught in classrooms Uh, the activists backed by school boards government woke media and corporations have been speaking on our behalf or the gays for too long when fighting for equality our goal was to successfully integrate ourselves into society but now these radicals aim to restructure it entirely in order to accommodate a fringe minority as well as seek to indoctrinate children into their ideology I mean, it seems I, I'm I'm full on board for these guys, yeah. but but does that mean I'm going to get banned from PayPal now? Yeah, exactly. I mean, this seems like pretty straightforward stuff. What's 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 really crazy to me is, and most people in this live stream or men remember this. If you would have said this back in the 1980s, well, you never would have said it in the 1980s or night because it's just so obvious. You know, do we want kids being exposed to some sort of drag show or any sexual content at all? The the obvious answer was just, oh, no, of course not. And it didn't matter whether you're on the left, on the right, progressive, conservative. It just didn't matter. The, the obvious answer was, no, of course we don't want to expose kids to this. But now we live in such a clown world that this is actually a topic. And, and if you and if you don't believe that kids should be exposed to this sexually explicit content in in you know in kindergarten, then that somehow means that you're spreading quote unquote hate, and therefore PayPal will just indiscriminately take your money. And if it's not PayPal now, I can almost well, there's no certainties, only probabilities. But I think the probability is extremely high that it will be the government doing it in the future via a central bank digital currency. I mean, just just look at Trudeau. Would you put that past him? Look at what he did with the truckers. You think it, he would put that past? You don't think that's going into law in the next three or four years if they have a central bank digital currency in Canada, as an example? That, it, it, that Trudeau comes out and says that if you say anything, if you make fun of him, then that's spreading disinformation and you're dangerous, you're a domestic terrorist, and therefore they're going to fine you. And, oh, you have no say in the matter because they have direct access to your account because all your Canadian dollars are now a liability of the Canadian Central Bank, which which Trudeau and this, and this Singh guy – just have their their finger on just the, the the red button on their desk. Oh, Josh, no, oh, you said. In fact, you know, even that tweet where I said that that guy's got you got two options with Mister Singh. Either he's stupid or he's evil. 
because either he's so stupid that he thinks that inflation is a result of corporate greed, or he's evil from the standpoint that he understands that's complete BS, but he says it anyway, i.e. he lies to the people of Canada simply to get their vote or to back the other megalomaniac up there, which is obviously Justin Trudeau. So my point there is you think you would, those two individuals, do you think they've got a, a moral line in the sand? They're not willing to cross. They say, oh, well, you know, we're trying to blame inflation on corporations when it's really our fault. But, uh, oh, no, as far as taking money out of people's account uh, because they say something we don't like. Now, no, that's crossing the line. <laughs> I mean, guys, again, writing on the wall. I sure hope this doesn't come. But, boy, oh, boy, I think the probabilities are extremely high. And I think this is just a trial balloon from uh, the central planners and authoritarians via PayPal. Josh, any any other thoughts, buddy? No, I, uh, I'm sadly in complete agreement. Yeah. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. As always, make sure that you're standing up for freedom, liberty, free market capitalism. Make sure you check me out today on Fox Business at 2 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be on there live. Uh, it'll definitely be entertaining. And I'm going to do my very best to stand up for the entire rebel capitalist community. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.